Absolutely incredible, and it already feels magical in the YouTube theater as the game goes underway and evil geniuses looking to pull out the magical Cinderella story taking down Team Queso. Well, EG's defense certainly got to this point, but Team Queso's offense arguably the best in Europe. You're looking at Rise, 23 goals so far, and it's only Saturday at this moment in time. You have to play immaculate defense for Evil Geniuses. Every player on Queso has got that star factor where they're able to shut down anything that a team opposing them is going to be able to offer. But all of this pressure begins on the side of EG. Yeah, already in the defensive half of Team Queso, and you can already feel this crowd feels like an overfilled balloon ready to pop at the first goal of the series. That's a big whiff there. Team Queso usually getting shots on early, but they're looking for that midfield pressure to certainly circulate as we look at the transition down the field. A lot of giveaways on those chances. Rise trying to corral the ball through the corner. Back to midfield we go, taken away. But Rise wins a big 50, and we'll slow it down for the moment. Rizek's leaving defense, full spit here oh to boy. pitch oh. over the top. The dunk isn't able to come in, however, and Catalan isn't able to clear it to the side. A flip reset on the oh. side of Rice. Flips it. Beautiful. No. Up the no. Double touch. Joyo, welcome to the YouTube theater. Team Queso, first to strike against EG, and it falls. All three members go up, and Joyo puts it in. It's not just the double, it's the triple, the quintuple juggle. Team Queso striking early, but the question mark for EG comes on the defensive end. That's how they got to this point. It's going to be the saves through this long best of five. If they want to take it the distance, they have to step up and meet the moment. Our opening goal is something we're all going to remember for a very long time. But EG, they're going to want to bring one back themselves and see if they can deliver a blow on that cheesy net. And you can already tell nerves slightly on the side of EG as the bumps come out. And double commits on the side of EG, pushing very far in front of that net. The ball crosses the goal line, but somehow Team Queso to clear this ball back downfield. Already starting to notice the challenges upfield for Evil Geniuses. We're getting right in the face of Team Queso, not allowing the counterattack to blossom off the back wall. That's where Europe starts to struggle when they can't get ahead with possession. But right on another touch, it was great for a center, but not good enough for the extension. Kicked out the other way down to Rise. Vitira to Rise finds Ivan on that backboard. Down to Rizex and the whiff, the demo coming in. Suddenly, Queso find themselves on the push, up for the double, down for the attempt. But instead, Matera isn't able to secure the shot on target. Up is Rise, oh! down is the ball. Chances for Queso forming time and time again. And how rare is it to see the top offense going up against the top defense? So far, Team Queso leading the major in goals per game and shots per game. Just offense in volumes is Rise going up, trying to 50, the ball set up, and score for Matera! If you can't slow him on the ground, you're not going to stop him in the air. Rise, perfect setup, Vitira punches it home. 2-0 Team Queso early on in game one. Ivan found himself in such an impossible position, has to defend from the ground pitch and the shot coming in. Instead, it was the second. He bit the dust, and Queso 2-0 up. EG, no goals for their name, and halfway gone in our opener. It's everything right now for EG to bring something back, because they've come into this series knowing they are facing off against the greatest team in Europe. Oh, team bump for Team Queso, and it all falls on Rise. Ball just sitting in the orange half, but no follow-up. Ivan's going to put this up off the oh! backboard, and it's in! Bar down and good, and EG find their first. The three-headed Hydra of Queso on defense, but the silver bullet comes from Ivan. A ridiculous 50 on the side wall. And those are the types of opportunities evil geniuses need to capitalize on to stay in this series. Every goal counts for one, and if you just get a skimmer off the crossbar and it just finds its way in, you've only got one goal as the deficit. Rizex with a lovely fake on the attacking player. And Vitira barrels his way in, but another lovely 50. He sees the ball flying high. Oh. Rise to Troyo and just wide on the attempt. And all it takes is one simple mistake, as we just saw from Team Queso. EG so good at capitalizing against their opponents, as we're going to get a pause in the game. First one of the weekend. And we've got to see what's going on, make sure the players are on a fair level playing field. But this game all it's feels like loud. game one is back underway, and EG still chasing one goal. Minute and a half to go here. Team Queso looking to keep up the aggression. Well, folks. Welcome back into game one. We jump in with 1.30 to go. A great pinch off the ground. Matera was looking for a teammate in the vicinity, but we shovel up from the corner. 
The queso chance start in the venue. The rumblings of an offensive push are certainly here off the backboard. Catalyst denying play. We spoke about how EG would have to deal with that pause, but Queso have to do just the exact same. They have to just get back into that aggressive mindset. After cooling down a little bit, their Jets need to get fired straight back up. And that's what they've done off the kickoff. This ball hardly entering that orange half. Joyo onto the flip reset, showing off what he can do with Catalyst and now trying to retaliate. Oh. Does manage to get it over the side of Atira. Deletes him from the pitch, leaving just a wreckage on the floor. And if EG is going to find any success here today, Stumpy, it feels like it's going to be on the back of Rizek, this sharpshooter for evil geniuses. But still, EG back on defense. But they're so welcome there. They feel so comfortable, so natural. But 30 seconds remaining in game number one. They need to break out. They need an opportunity and still can't get that ball past midfield. Here comes Catalyst looking for a double and put into the corner. But what EG did really well in the start of this game, they challenged Team Queso on the defensive end. They kept one-on-one -on -one pressure and they won it throughout, but Rise is just a little bit better. A two-goal lead now for Queso in this first game. is near enough going to win it for them. They're going to be theoretically closing it out with that 3-1 scoreline. EG, though, still have 20 seconds to bring it back. Crazy things have happened at Lance. And these guys may well be writing themselves in that history book. Matera onto the battle, with either going central, rise with a fantastic clear, and the dunk. The final 10 seconds of game number one. The countdown emerging through the YouTube theater. And Team Queso, our inaugural winners. The first series going in favor of Team Queso. And I don't know what it is about this team. I don't understand where this confidence comes from. Every single moment they rise to the occasion, all three members, still teenagers, 15, 16, 17, but looking like they've been playing for years at this level. Our well, Mobile One high performance replay continues to show you the dominance that Team Gaso had in the midfield line. And on that point, EG just couldn't get boost. That's really the takeaway for me. You can have great defense. You can save everything under the sun. But if you don't have resources to get that ball out on a booming clear, Stubi, it's going to be impossible to score. It's going to be impossible with the pressure that Team Queso just continues to bring. They just overload you with mechanics and just continue to make your brain think too hard, too long. And for EG, you just got to calm down, not let this crowd get in your head, which at this point in time, impossible to do. EG had an incredibly hard group to work their way out of as well. And the fact they managed to take down Dignitas in such a high intensity situation. Yeah. It speaks volumes for them. And we're gonna talk about Queso so much because it's it's the start of one of those fabled potential lower bracket runs that we may see that season six offered us with that Cloud9 victory. Every team imagines that they're gonna be getting it. Queso wanna be in that situation. EG though, this is also their time. This is Forbidden Temple and it's game number two. And already, Team Queso right out of the gates looking for a shot far post and can't quite find it. Accuracy being an issue here is Rizek's pass over to Catalyst. Shot on target, turned away by Vatira. And Team Queso forced back on their heels early in game number two. Denying the challenges early, even off the kickoff. Evil Genius is looking for something spicy, but you can feel as this series starts to marinate a little bit more. It's going to be up to Team Queso to shut the deal down. Evil Geniuses have to start the scoring, and they got to start early in game two if they want to get that momentum right back on their side. 30 seconds without incident, but Joyo, he wants to cause some chaos. Rizek's onto that side wall, caught out by Ryze, and his midfield control continuing from game number one. 20 boost, Matera to drop it down. Joyo pinching central. Oh. Ryze is up! Whoa. Ryze! Ryze on net! between two defenders, and look at the speed in which he gets back up to this ball. Catalyst gets 50 by Joyo, and Rise already in the air. Ivan can't continue through, and Team Queso, yet again, first to strike first. He continues to lead all regions in goals scored and goals per game. Rise, an MVP performance, and we're only into game one of the Saturday matches. It's the lower round, but man, it feels good. Back to the midfield we go. Possession here for Evil Geniuses and pressure as well. They start to mount the attack. The corner, what a pitch. Oh, wow. And the pass out on the center. Catalyst there, but it's all three from Team K still waiting for the shot. And they're slowing it down off the backboard. The shots being taken from EG need to have more imagination than just shooting dead middle on the floor at three awaiting lurking defenders. Go for those bumps because they are horrific to defend against. Rise can't fake out Ivan this time. 
Yeah, I agree with you, Stumpy. I also think EG needs to pull that second man a little far forward because right now, Team Queso, too much time to clear that ball downfield. There's not a quick enough follow-up for Evil Geniuses to find success in the offensive half. And if there are three men on the goal line, send it high and let your teammate go up for the double. Do something with more imagination. That's what you need to do to work against Team Queso. But hey, it's the first time they're playing with that crowd. There's going to be the nerves. Comes down to who's going to battle. Joyo up. Oh, the goes up. for the air dribble, but the Rizek is there. Okay, so are starting to spread laterally, pulling the defenders off in one on one situations where mechanically Team Queso should win those matchups 99 times out of 99. With 2.50 to go here, still plenty of time in game two. But this series so far has been all of Team Queso, and now it's up to Evil Geniuses. Taken away yet again. Joyo with the extension oh, all the no. way around, and it rolls in, and an interesting goal to say the least, but it's a 2 0 lead regardless. Devastation as EG, Rizex and Kastas and meet up on the incorrect goal line and send it over. That's a 2-0 lead for Queso and Evil Geniuses. They're nightmare, becoming that reality. Gotta have better communication, especially on that goal line. It's already dangerous enough to try and clear that ball all the way across your own box, but the fact that your teammate's trying to pinch it out, gotta be able to chatter to each other as Rise coming up. Puts that ball down, and Joyo oh. can't find the redirect, but still, Vatiro keeping this ball in for Team Queso and Catalyst. Welcoming that ball to the side wall as EG trying to find another goal. Again, we jump back to the problems of game one. They don't have enough boost to be able to continuously get up for the aerial. It's making a lot of these 50s favor Team Queso. A bullet through the corner. No a pass way! through the corner. No! A shot through the corner! <laughs> Rise to the occasion, young one! That is not allowed! Up to the corner. Perfect amount of boost burns. And Batira can sit pretty <laughs> and watch it glide in. Get that in the next day highlights. And Batira getting the bump on the defender for extra measure. But the fact that Rise can find that angle time and time again is absolutely brilliant. But Joyo, oh, time, man. space, probably good for the flick. Can't quite find it. Good 50 on the defender. But we're in the second half. EG need to start to find some offense. We're about eight minutes into this best of five. And we've seen three shots from EG, maybe four. It hasn't been there. It's been all of Team Queso. They're treating the lower bracket like it's groups day one. And they have not slowed down. That's a great clear down by EG. Was looking for the redirect, redirect, just won't find it. Back to Rise, the back pass there on the infield. But instead, we go once more to traffic. And a good defensive demo there for Team Queso to really relieve that pressure and Looks like I've been able to get back in time, but right now Team Queso just playing so fast, so mechanical. EG has yet to find an answer as we near the final minute. It feels like Team Queso have really just dominated the offensive path and EG unable to find anything. And if, I'm gonna go back to what you were saying, zero creativity on offense. And Team Queso have seen those balls into the corner off of the backboard so many times, you gotta do something to try and trick them. It's also credit to Queso, they shut down those creative pathways in the brain. They make sure that EG don't have that space in oh, time. <laughs> Turn it up, young man! Oh, boy, oh, it's Joyo comes off of the side wall. Bye-bye, see you later. And he's styling on him. I'm not going to lie to you. If you're EG, you would love a chance for a tactical timeout, but you're probably not going to get it. At this point, Stumpy, in this situation, you need a goal. You need something to break the monotony that Team Queso have been dominating towards the midfield. There's been no offense, no creativity, no resources, and right now, no score. And right now, Evil Geniuses need to do something to get the momentum to swing in their favor. And that's a good opportunity, but Rise already cut down that pass. Bump on the goal line, but Catalyst can't quite find the angle. And it looks as though game two, yet again, going to go in favor of Team Queso. Yet again, a chance for Evil Geniuses to shoot a bump coming out. That creativity is starting to fall. Their black and white world becoming multicolor all of a sudden. Four goals, though, still separates them. The final 10, the countdown happens. Team Queso, they concede one at the death, but they still take game number two, and evil geniuses have to go for the reverse sweep. That's a bit of a doggy bag goal. You get it on the way out, but still, it does establish something, a baseline you can work off of. And look, it's a 4-1 loss to game two. Your backs are against the wall. They've done it before. Granted, Dignitas have not played their best, but in this situation, 
So you feel like you'll take anything for EG just to get your head out of the gutter. Yeah, and right now it's just been Ivan for EG, scoring both of their goals, and someone else needs to step up, whether it's Rizix or Catalyst. And again, I think it needs to be Rizix. He is so mechanical, so good in the offensive half, but right now he hasn't even had an opportunity as we get to yeah. these Mobile One high-performance replays. It is just all Team Queso all day long. He has so much more that he can offer. And just step away from the game for a minute. Bro, I love this crowd. Like, people are so noisy here. Everybody is getting up and getting loud. It is... It's everything. It's, nice. it's an experience. It's what Queso are feeding off. I've got to know, is Section 104 making you proud right now? Oh, Section 104 are my babies! Folks, if you're not in the venue, it's not sunny outside. Get inside. I mean, there's no sun. You all you downtown you, LA. You want people to get inside like all the time. Though. Yes. You you exist inside. Yeah. The it's fact been we two got years. you let's out. Keep, let's keep it going. Just let's get inside. Keep it going. Let's just carry get on. Get back guys. inside. It's now is the awesome. time to be okay. Get inside. Come watch some Rocket League. In general, watch Team Queso do what they're doing better than almost anybody else. Queso are feeding off that crowd energy as well. When that countdown comes in, they are dialing it to 11. And with game at number three kicking off, it's Queso with the chance to sweep and EG to continue that Cinderella story. And this crowd seems to be backing Team Queso right now. It's sold out within a day and already the entire arena all filled up. Everybody here cheering on Queso as Catalyst denied off the backboard. And Joyo has to defend and that ball sent into the corner. We've seen Catalyst make magic before. Evil geniuses desperately looking for some light in this series. Their tournament run hangs in the balance, and Team Queso, the only ones who stand in their way. Still plenty of time here in game number three. If you're just joining us, welcome in. It's been an exciting start to this one. Team Queso have been absolutely lights out with a big challenge. They continue that pressure into the corner. Opportunities continue to arise for Team Queso, but yet to take any of them. As Ivan giving that ball away, relinquishing right. any pressure that they've built up. Almost scared to hold on to it, where he didn't want to have that responsibility. Ivan was crucial in their victory versus Dignitas, a team that has beaten Kato over and over there again. Is. And a chance from the goal line. Joyo to the corner. But they have to continue to challenge through those corners no, and get the no. follow-up. They can't allow for Team Kato to take the ball away so quickly and get nothing out of that rotation. I agree. The turnover is starting to be a problem for EG. They need to start surveying that field, see where their teammates are, because right now, ball control not in favor as Vatira gets 50, and this ball going to be in favor of Evil Geniuses. Still looking to press forward, but they are doing a much better job. Team Queso yet to score here in game number three. So much better, where EG, their game management, is starting to come out. Joyo, though, wants to kill the dreams. Rise to the skies! From the bad ball, though, Ivan is able to clear it away, but Rice lurking in that goal, bumping him out of the way, coming from the blind zone. Off the bar, Team Queso continue to hit. Now is the time for Evil Geniuses to start to work through their progressions downfield orchestrate some kind of offense here. There's not a lot of time. We're about halfway through game number three. This could be the last series Ooh. of the major. Great pass, great shot. Counter for both. It's Catalyst back in midfield. Challenge there for Team Queso. But yet again, we boom this one to the corner. Long shot from Rise. Attempts to find Vatira to the bat board, but up is Queso. Does get cleared away, and look at the boost differences now. Queso had about 300 for a second. Ivan oh. only rocking 50 with two zeros straddling his name. Queso, the game management is going back on, but no goals to show for it, and Evil Genius is certainly continuing their offense much more convincingly than they have done in the previous two. And the tides feel as though they're shifting, starting to turn blue. Evil Genius is doing a great job at getting on the offense at will, but Team Queso consistently winning the 50-50s as Rise sends that ball back to his own half. Looks like Joyo able to get there at midfield and gonna pop that one up, but Ivan pressuring forward, and that's what we need to see from Evil Genius is start playing more aggressive, start pushing past midfield because you're on your last life. Their offense is more visible, but it's not any more creative. Time dwindling away, slowly but surely. Still plenty of opportunities for both sides. And Vatira is trying to get cheeky through the corner. As we shovel it down, back into traffic we go. No one with a clean possession. Rise looking for the toss up. But Team Queso fall off. They don't want to overcommit and give up something long. 
Evil Genius is pushed very far back on defense for the last minute or so. And Matera, he wants to turn that screw more and more. The final minute approaching. This next goal could mean everything to either team. Either the start of a novel or the end of a story. And EG starting to build that castle wall. And you can feel Team Queso marching downfield, bringing the battering ram. And still, Evil Genius is yet to find too many shots here. Catalyst up and... Joyo puts that ball back into his own corner, and Ivan gonna keep the pressure for Evil Geniuses. I love those stretches from EG. They're pulling defenders out of the goal line, and you're forcing Boost to get burned from Team Queso. Maybe a chance here. Oh, there oh, it the is! Pass. Finally! It's broken up, and EG on the board. Rizex, the man who needed something to come from it, and he is right place, right time. And the fact that he was able to flick so quickly after that ball found its way to his hood. What a redirect coming out, and it falls onto Rizex, who I was looking to see. That may well be a confidence booster through this series as well, especially going up the first lead that Evil Geniuses have managed to cement themselves. 30 seconds remaining. I wonder if the crowd are going to chant nearly as loudly for the last 10. Now the Queso aren't winning. We'll see just what they've got to offer us. It's the final 20. Queso on the back foot. Oh, no. dangerous man to ask that. Double commit on the side of Evil Geniuses, and Rise gets that ball out. Vatira looking for a double, oh! finds it, and ties it up with 11 seconds to go. It doesn't even get to the final 10 seconds for EG to have that support with Vatira up for the double. EG are down for the count. If he touches that too hard, the ball clangs off the backboard, but he puts it in part and waits for the extension. The natural momentum of the ball gets him down to the final 10. Tie game was such little to give. Oh. But Team oh. Queso looking for the pass. Could it be Golden Goal opportunity? Ball still up. Joy off the backboard. It's there for EG. Catalyst misses the touch. Ladies and gentlemen, it's the first Golden Goal of the weekend. Overtime and the place to prove it is here on land. Rise up in oh. the midfield with the flip reset. He's got an open oh. net. He's got a 50. And he has got the series win for Europe's number one. Rise putting Team Queso on his shoulders, carrying them to victory and marching forward through the lower bracket. How many goals is too many? How many does he need? Rise, the MVP so far. He doesn't stop. The moment is never too big. And Team Queso with one of their easiest wins, and it's only Saturday. And we see the mutual respect between both teams. Evil Geniuses sent home packing early, but some would even call it a miracle that they got to this point, getting in front of all these wonderful fans at YouTube Theater. But Team Queso continue their dominance. Two out of the three regionals were theirs, and they're looking to take home the winner major. That is where Evil Geniuses' run will end. Everybody, please give it up for them, because they have come to play for our first series here at the YouTube Theater. The love and respect means everything to them. And no one expected it. The Mobile One High Performance Replay shows you it all. It looked promising for Evil Geniuses, but the Cinderella run had to come somewhere, and it had to end in a different place. But just the fact that they got to this point, Stumpy, Subi, again, we don't like to throw around the word quality loss because that's a heartbreaker. You're into Saturday, first time in front of fans in two years. But EG did what many people considered nearly impossible for them to do. They reverse swept Dignitas, they got themselves to the weekend. I, I hope they hold their heads high and continue to work on the stuff. They have to. They came in as Europe's number five team and they made it to the live crowd. Better teams on paper than them didn't yeah. make it. They yeah. knocked Dignitas away from this opportunity. They stole it away from them. Bigger teams like NRG didn't make it. And yet Evil Geniuses, they are the ones that got to open the show for us here. It must mean everything to them, Subi, where you have the opportunity after a couple of years to show what you can do. Well, I'm looking over the arena at Team Queso and how they can just continue to find success and then put themselves in their first moment in front of a live audience and have no problems. They go down one goal, get that game tied back up, and to take it, something of brilliance. Well, if there's one word to describe this team, it's brilliance. And one of the players who knows that more is Rise. Let's throw it down to Achieves with Rise.
Thank you very much, Spaceman Indeed, standing here with Rise from Team K. So I just have one question for you guys, you know, because he hasn't been in a live event before. Can we get a nice RLCS lion welcome for Rise? <laughs> Well, there you go, deserving, MVP chance. You think that's good? You feel that? Bro, that's insane, honestly. That's, that's insane, bro. I appreciate you all, thank you. Well, you certainly played an excellent first match. You know, you, you played incredibly well. Are you, do you guys feel like you're playing at the peak of your game right now? I don't know about our, our peak right now. I think it was a nervy series for sure, but we were less nervous than they were, so in the end, we won. <laughs> but like... <laughs> Nah, we're, our peak, we're not at our peak right now, but when we get there, we're scary, so I think, yeah. Even more in the tank, it would seem, for Team Queso. And of course, your next match potentially going to be against G2 or Furia. How are you feeling about either of those guys? I'm confident. Uh, I think G2 are a scary team as well. Furia too, to be fair. They've been looking really good. Um, but yeah, I, I think we'll probably play Furia based off how G2 are playing. So... <laughs> no, but, I, I think we beat whoever. I think we beat whoever. I'm confident. You love to hear confidence, and of course, outside of just your next match, who do you feel might be your stiffest competition you left? Ooh. I want to play Com, bro. I want the Chirpy series. I want the Chirpy series. Let's go. You love to see the confidence. Either way, Rise, I really enjoyed your first series. Thank you so much for joining us. When we come back, we'll continue with the RLCS Winter Major. It's going to be FaZe versus BDS. We'll see you in a few minutes.